What's up guys, it's Tech Nugget today. I'm going to be showing you how to replace the thermal paste on your GPU that is from a Lenovo Legion system, or really any other GPU. So, yep, this might be similar for your GPU, but if it's not, then maybe watch another video. I don't know. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, all you really need is some thermal paste and a screwdriver that might look a little something like this. It's really small, it's like a Phillips head, but just a lot smaller. It's for those four screws. And yeah, you need a pretty small screwdriver to get in there. So for thermal paste, I'm just going to reuse this Vitro thermal paste that I used on my CPU cooler. Let's go. So all you really need to do, I'm going to be completely honest, is unscrew these. And there you go. Now all your screws are, you can already see it's kind of coming off. Your screws should look a little something like this. They look like a little spring almost. That's completely fine. Pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be. And there you go. Just lift up on the PCB and there you go. You can disconnect the fan header if you want. I'm not going to because it's not really necessary. But there's your, there's your GPU. There's your cooler. Um, I've heard that this costs roughly ten dollars to make so yeah <laughs> I, I don't know lenovo maybe you should actually try to make coolers but it's just me maybe not but yeah let's clean off this thermal paste this is actually what i did yesterday because i wanted to just test this real quick and make sure i could actually do it i could that's my application i think it's all right so now i got some paper towels i'm just gonna rub off the thermal paste from the cooler. It won't be 100% clean. If you want some rubbing alcohol, that would also probably do the trick. So there's that. Got all that off. Now the GPU die. And there it is. There's your nice shiny GPU die. Feels pretty smooth. Um, yep, do that information what you will. I am going to detail this up a little bit. By that I mean get the little edges, and I will be back with the actual application. Okay, we have our thermal paste. We got everything cleaned off, so just about... Mm, about that much. That should be good, and I'm going to put you on the stand for this because I might need two hands, but now we take the heatsink again, and we slip it right back onto the GPU. Make sure everything is all lined up. There we go. Nice little click, and it is making contact. So now the little holes in the screw holes where you put the screws in are visible and we can start screwing in again. So the process of screwing it in is pretty easy. What I like to do is I like to get the screw on the end of the screwdriver so it'll fall off like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position it over the screw hole. Then you want to push down, make sure it gets into the screw hole and screw it in. There we go. There you go, that one's in. And we're going to do the star pattern. So we go to the other side of the ah, There we go. And that's basically it. Um, yeah, your card now has new thermal paste. Hope you learned something. See you guys later in the next one.